Hi everyone. In this video, I will show how to connect to Exchange Online using PowerShell. Please note the two-factor authentication is enabled for my user and the procedure is a little different than basic authentication. In my next video, I will show how to connect without two-factor authentication. So first I need to run the PowerShell as an admin and I'm, um, I'm going to run Windows PowerShell IAC. already saved uh, the commands and I will I will put the command in the description. I already imported Exchange Online Management module. So if you haven't done it yet, please uh, import the module first and then go to the next step. But since I have run, I'm just gonna go to uh, step two. I need to sign in. I need to run this one. And as you can see, I have to put my username and password twice. I will show you how you can avoid uh, doing this. It's very easy. You, all you need to do is just go to the credential management. As you can see, it worked. Uh, one important thing is anytime you use Exchange, uh, anytime you use PowerShell to connect to Exchange Online, make sure once you're done using the PowerShell, just uh, remove the session or end the session. To do that, it's very easy. Use get PS session, and you as you can see here, we have an ID number. This is the I, this is the session or the ID number that I need to kill or end. Now I have to use remove PS session dash ID and it's one and it's done. Now I will show you how you can avoid uh, putting your username and password twice. Please go to control panel here for under credential manager, select windows credentials add a generic credential for internet or network address use PowerShell now use put your username and your password Now let's try again.
and it worked so yeah so that's how you connect to exchange online using powershell if the two-factor authentication is already enabled uh, thank you for watching have a good day bye